joy and giving thanks go together like turkey and mashed potatoes. Living in Ethiopia, sometimes we think about all the food that we can't get. We start imagining ice cream and big juicy steaks. And we think when we get back to the States, we're gonna stock up on black licorice. But God has blessed us so much right here. Sometimes patients in our hospital will actually bow down at the feet of my husband to say thank you. And one of his women patients bursts into tears every time she comes back for an exam. She is so thankful for her successful surgery. I don't know, maybe sometimes I'm just an entitled American and think that I deserve so much. I would like to restore a spirit of thankfulness this season. So I'm going to examine my heart and ask, why am I not more thankful? And what can I do to cultivate a spirit of thankfulness? So a few weeks ago, I took some paper and made a paper chain. On each link, I wrote something that I was thankful for. My health my YouTube ministry, my children, broccoli and cauliflower. Well, yes, I am grateful that it's now available in our local market. So on Thanksgiving Day, I want to go through all the things that I wrote down. I hope it restores and ignites a spirit of thankfulness in me. And the greatest gift of all, that I am a child of God that I can learn to grasp the greatness of God's love for me, that I can know that he's my father and I can draw near to him and he tells me, I love you, I honor you, I treasure you. Oh, that should make all of us feel so thankful.